So now we're gonna talk about completing that agent profile. So again, back to the template, which is kind of just a checklist to help you. So when it's time for you to set yourself up, you can just go through this and say, okay, now I gotta do this. Now I'm gonna think about this. And um, so now we're at agent profile and you can click on this little guy and it's a support article to how to set up your profile. And it's a great, you know, um, inside real estate, Cape Court, most of their knowledge articles are all really good and make sense, um, most of them. The only one I don't like that makes no sense is um, the complete guide to smart campaigns. What they say is not true and it doesn't work, but everything else works pretty much. So completing the agent profile. Um, so this part, entering your MLS ID. Um, this is where, what you're gonna do is here I am on my KB Core website, and what I'm going to do is there's a drop down menu to the right with your login information, and you're going to click on that and click on my profile, and that's the section that this part of the template is talking about. And how I'm going to start is I'm going to click on edit here, and I can drag an image, which is gonna be my picture. Um, and uh, you, you put your name and your title, and then you want your MLS ID, the same MLS ID that is going to feed your MLS listings um, into something else. So if you need help with this, you need to contact your MLS support person and ask them what that is, <laughs> okay? I've had people not know what theirs is. Um, also your nerds number. But what's most important is this MLS ID. And the reason it's so important is because when you have listings, you want your website to show your listings. For example, the way this works is here are my listings. This is my website, nothing too fancy. And there's my listings. So if they're showing because I have my proper, um, MLS ID in there. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Okay. Does KB Core website work better than a GoDaddy website? Oh, absolutely. So <laughs> Nan is asking, you know, does your KB Core website work better than any other website for lead generation? And absolutely, because not only are you going to just set up the website, but you, you have the lead generating tools. And we're not talking so much about how to use those lead generating tools yet. Nan, we will next week, we'll start there. But oh gosh, yes. Um, it, is, it is a powerful lead generator if you use it. And so we're getting started tonight, so that's great. Okay? All right, so then the next part, you're going to enter your cell phone number or work number and then click on what number you want to show on your website. What that's going to do is, of course, this is, uh, I haven't registered on my website yet today because I keep deleting myself. Uh, continue with Google. Let's just let me in. Redirecting. All right. So when someone goes to a property page, once they're registered and you want, you want whatever number you want to show at the top, that's the one that you want the box to be checked, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, then you put your, you know, whatever email you wanna use, whatever website. This lender stuff, if you want to partner with a lender and you wanna share your leads with the lender, you can um, make sure that a lender gets added by going to EXP Realty Support, Tech Outpost, and EXP World, and asking them to do that for you. But I'm not gonna get into all that. Um, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add whatever social media um, links that you have. Here it just shows what the, what the ID is, you guys. You gotta put the full URL in to start and then save it, and then this automatically shortens it but you have to put the full URL in it when you're putting these links in here, okay? Um, it's important to have at least a little about me section 
and then you can add whatever kind of signature you want to add. And then test it and make sure it looks good in your emails. It doesn't look good here, but it, look, it sends fine. <laughs> um, so, and then they've added some new things. You can add now more stuff all about you that's going to show up in the about your agent section of, of the website. I haven't added any of that yet. That's all new. So to show you what I'm talking about, under agent profile, that's where more of that stuff is going to show up. Um, that I have not added <laughs> yet, but you can add it. Go back to my template. This template just kind of, you know, helps you, put, you know, put all this information together um, so that you can organize yourself. And it's a good reference for yourself as well. And it's just a checklist. Okay, did I add my profile pic? Do I have, you know, do I have my links? You know, do I have my signature? Um, are all my social media accounts updated with my new website, my KB4 website? Um, do I have my bio? And then I even have a little link here to um, a link about how to write a good bio. And it's a nice, easy, short article with a couple templates, and it's great. Um, okay. So that's that. So that's just the agent profile part. Um, these are links to help you through that if you get stuck somewhere. 